Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the component. So please watch this video carefully because uh, this question can be asked in the interviews also. Laravel component is not, uh, not a much older topic. This is introduced in the Laravel 7 in March 2020. So you can say that this is a pretty new topic also for a moment, right? So. Uh, we will learn that what is the component, how we can make it, how we can use it and reuse it, how we can pass the data in the component and at the last we will, I will ask you an interview question. You can attempt this interview question in the comment box if you want and if you don't want then that's okay but please read about these interview questions if you don't know about it, right? So now uh, the question is what is the component? So component is basically a piece of code that we can reuse it right uh, we can reuse it on the same page as well as on the different different page so if you just want to make uh, compare it with the, some other functionality or other feature with the programming language then you can say that uh, this is pretty similar with the functions we can reuse the functions we can pass the data to the functions similarly we can reuse the component and we can pass the data to the components and all right but components are the much advanced to the uh, functions because functions have a uh, limited functionalities and uh, we cannot use the functions in the laravel especially uh, as an output renderer right right but in the component we can uh, uh, write here the html we can write here the php we can connect the database inside it and there is a lots of things that you can do with the components and which cannot be achieved with the normal functions, right? So if you just want to uh, take an example of the component, then you can say that header is a best example because uh, header is a reusable thing. And let's say we have around 20 pages in our website, then this is not a good idea to make a header for every page let's make a single header as a component and include it and use it in the all pages right this is the best approach second approach you can say that uh, let's say you have a sign up button in your uh, website and it have around the sign up button place have around four or five places on the five places right then what you can do that you can just make a component for the sign sign up button and you can reuse it again and again wherever you want right the benefit of it uh, if you just want to upgrade the sign up functionality you want to uh, add a new function a new field in the sign up then you have to add it only a one place in the component and it can be included automatically in the old places if you use the sign up component uh, functionality different different uh, for the every place then you have to uh, make the new code or the updated code every place so component is the best approach uh, when you want to uh, use any functionality again and again right so now let's see that how we can use it first of all how we can make for that i am just going to take you on the command line and just write here php artisan make component and component name let's say my component name is header and just hit a enter here so now you can see that our uh, header is created and uh, you can see that every component have the two files one is html second one is the php file so here you can see that uh, in this file uh, which is just uh, generated in the view inside the components and here right and here we can write our uh, HTML kind of things and this is pretty similar to the view also and the second file will be generated in the app views header right and here you can write your PHP code and this is pretty similar as an uh, controller you can say that right so now how I can use it so I'm just going to make it uh, some content like uh, just put here h1 tag and just simply write here header component right so how i can use it for that i am just going to make a uh, two more views one is users and another is about 
so let's make first one users dot blade dot php right and let's call it just make it some h1 tag or some text here like uh, you can just simply put here uh, user page right and uh, now let's go to the web.php and make the route for it just simply put here route view users this is the url and user this is our view file name now let's uh, just simply call the users right and now you can see that our page is user page is ready so how we can use this header uh, dot blade dot php which is our component inside the view so you just need to simply add here x hyphen header and close it with the self -clo closing bracket so now you can see that header component is ready for it so in every header component we can just uh, use this tag and the data will be uh, this header tag will be passed here right so similarly let's uh, make one more component let's say about dot blade dot php and uh, just put here some tag text here like uh, about page and uh, here we can uh, import the similar uh, header like here also right so just put it and make for route for this also and you can just simply put here about this is our url and about this is our view page so i am just going to open it in the another one now you can see that header component is reused in two components right uh, in the two views so how we can pass the data to it so let's say you just want to pass some data from the users so let's say mm, you can put here some data or kind of thing and just simply write here uh, users component header right you can we, you can just mention it and uh, similar thing the same parameter you can pass it from the about also and just simply put here about component header simple and now let's go to the uh, component php file and here just get this data dollar data as in parameter and we can assign to the any property so let's define a property public dollar title you can put any name to this property you can put here data name component name whatever you want and just use here this and title will be the dollar data right and now let's go to the header dot blade dot php and just simply write here dollar title okay so we just missed something here i think let me check yep we missed the columns here and now you can see that here you can we are able to see the header component about component header and here we are able to get the users component header even we have the only one component here so that's all for a moment if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care